Alright, going into round two here. Playing against Xenon Sling. Oh, they're just trolling. Okay. Male is <laughs> trolling. Looks like it's just Xenon mid range, honestly. Uh, these reappropriators and pride leaders will have nothing to actually hit. Uh. Vanish is pretty bad against me. I only have. I guess Vanish can hit Catra. But she's kind of got her value when she enters. Um. I suppose they might be able to run away with the game with like a good curve into Tazbu, and like Timepiece is scary, <laughs> as I very well know. Um. Pretty solid market access for them, so I'm actually not sure how this will go, but I think we're favored. Uh, should be an interesting matchup though. Okay, what's up? We're here in round two, playing against Xenon Anti-Slaying. Fellow Xenon comrade. Definitely not keeping that hand. This is definitely a keep. Am I on the play? I didn't check. I'm on the play, so I will not be getting exploited before good boy comes down. Then we've got three exploits of our own. I think that's all three of the exploits in my deck. More concerned about drawing two than I am about taking a card of theirs. Don't have an answer for Vara yet. We're gonna go for Damara. Exploiting my exploits, huh? Well, that means I get to just start taking all of the cards out of your market. Yeah, for those of you, uh, right now you guys are talking about the art. This Grodov Stranger art is so much better.
faster. This will get you going. I prioritize taking the crap out of their bullet market more than I prioritize using my own, but Grodov Stranger is pretty char strong. And I've already got Xenon Temple on the board. So I'm incentivized here to just get as much pressure as I can. So I'm only assuming they're grabbing Vara here. I doubt it's Aramont's designs. They might be going for Express Route too. They don't have any units in their void, Vara doesn't do anything. And if they don't kill this, that means they probably don't have Express Route. So I think we just kind of got them here. Amusingly with their market. Yeah, now that's in my void. Shuffle that zero zero <laughs> motor muck into their deck. This game's going well. <laughs> In like every single way it can be going well. Alright, we are here in uh, round two, game two, playing against Xenon Anti Sling, which I have to respect. Um, this hand's a little slow. I also get blown out if they have exploit. Um, if they don't have exploit, it's actually pretty okay. But I'm gonna redraw this. Uh, this is probably worse, but I feel like I'm obligated to keep it. At least it has removal. Exploit's good here. I think I'm just grabbing Sinister Rumors here.
Probably just going for a Zindel this game. Not happy that I have to transform all of these. Maybe I didn't. A well placed coin. I think I play Catra first here. If he wants to trade his Tazbu with my Catra, I'm all here for it. I actually don't even think it's that bad of a play for him, but... There could be a, like, a world where they decide to be greedy and, like, keep it. I totally should have played that treasure first. Since I have the better late game, I don't think I attack. What are the chances that they have an answer to a second Azindal? I think I'd go for it. It's so good if they don't have an answer. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. They're playing four banishes, yeah. They had one card in their hand, it was... Oh, and they had top tech shadow etchings? Okay. So, I guess if I was trying to hedge there, I was probably supposed to, uh... Play Mariest and Vinegrafter and go grab Big Azindal. If I was, like, trying to play around them having two banishes. I'm not sure I'm ever supposed to play around my opponent having two banishes. Especially when uh, banish was their only real, like, clean answer. Like, Vara's favor and timepiece, like, pseudo answers it. I think we're done here. going on here. Okay, we're in round two, game three. Let's see if we can get a slightly better hand this time. 
Oh, this one's fantastic. I should have no actual real excuses for this one. Since I'm on the play, I should probably get one of these golems off before I get exploited. Just raw cards matters more in these like grind fest matches than like getting down the early hourglass. Forgot about reappropriator. I will be reborn. The ritual is complete. Hoping to get some sort of ultimate card here. Golem is good, I'll take a golem. Take the card that draws him cards. Try and slam a Zindel. Happy days. Okay, I should just play a Zindel and win. Not sure they really have an answer. Especially with him having regen. We hunt 
Alright, GG. Ended up dropping a game there, I did not expect that. A very cool deck from our opponent though.